Hello everyone. Right, we'll start again. Right, now that he shut up. Hello everyone, Will again here. What we're doing today, we're going to be looking at feeding the fat lambs. So basically, very recently, the prices of corn has gone through the roof. So we've been looking at options of how we can fatten all the fat lambs for a more reasonable price. So that's what we're up to today, guys. If you do find it interesting, please give the video a massive like. If you want to see more stuff like this, just smash that subscribe button. And don't forget videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven in the morning. Cheers guys, hope you enjoy. Right guys, so let's get into it and explain exactly what I'm going to be doing today. So basically, as a lot of you know about the channel before, when we finish our fat lambs, we usually finish them on a creep mix. But more recently, the price has gone up, so what we're looking at is alternatives to finish the last of the fat lambs. So basically, what I've done here, in Blue Peter fashion, I have three buckets a feed to explain to you exactly what we're doing here on the farm. So in bucket number one, what we have is the usual creep pellet. So a lot of you lot will know these as usual feed that you feed any animal base that just be made up in a different ration. So with these creep pellets, these are lamb finishers. So these are 17% protein, fairly high percent protein, and these should finish the lambs pretty well. But more recently, we have had to pay £370 a tonne for these, which is not ideal. That's fairly expensive. It's up almost £100 on usual years. So we've been looking at alternatives. Um, I looked on the internet and I was looking at rolled barley, which we have actually invested in some. But as well as that, we've had to invest in some other stuff because you can't just feed rolled barley. So in here, this is what rolled barley looks like. So this is basically a usual barley grain. So any of you that know barley crops in the field, this is what the seed looks like, but it's been rolled because with sheep, if you don't roll it, the seeds basically come out in the back end, they don't get absorbed and they don't get the stuff out of it that they need. So basically it's a waste. So if you roll it, the energy is released much quicker. But the only thing about this, it's only 12% protein, but it is like half the price. I'll put all the prices on screen as I go because off the top of my head, I don't want to tell you the wrong price. So that is that the barley is much cheaper, but it's a lower protein. But it's fairly good because it's quite starchy and it fills the lambs up, so it should let them put some condition on fairly well. And finally, the final ingredient, because obviously, as I said before, you don't want to feed too much barley because what it can do, basically barley can cause the animal to bloat. It causes something called acidosis in the stomach of a lamb. And it basically makes them really ill and can actually cause them to die if they eat too much. So you need to make sure there's not loads of it in the diet, but just enough. So the final ingredient, what we're doing at the moment, is actually sugar beet shreds mixed with molasses. So this is what that looks like. So basically what this is, is the waste product from when people send sugar beet to the factory. So this is like all the outside of the sugar beet and a few of off cuts basically dried out and then covered in molasses. For those of you who don't know what molasses is, it's basically a syrup that's high in sugar so it'll make this actually taste better but this is 11% protein so mixing it all together it makes a really nice mix to fatten them on hopefully so guys now i have explained all that what i'd like you guys to do is comment in the comment section below just to see what you guys feed your fat lambs at home and options you have gone for in the last year or two to see what you all think the ratio we are actually feeding this in is we are putting basically five parts corn five parts barley and three parts sugar beet so that is the ration that we are kind of feeding them in we've gone for other options in the past like i've said we've normally just go for straight corn but that is what we're going for and they've been on it for a week now they seem to be doing really well if it's so it'll be interesting how they kill out but more interesting enough i'd like to know what you guys do at home because it's always interesting to find out off of other people. But yeah, what I'm going to do now, guys, is bag a couple of these up because the lambs are on a kilo ahead of day. And we'll go off and feed all the lambs. Okay. 
Come on, boys! Come on! Come on, lads! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on, boys! Come on! Come on! Come on, boys! Come on, boys! Come on! Right guys, so that is all the fat lambs fed and as you can see they are all digging into it and they actually love it so if we just go down here we can see what it looks like so when I basically tip it out it all mixes up so this is what it looks like, it's all mixed up now so you can see the barley, you can see the corn and you can see the sugar beet shreds they all mix together really well into a nice ration, it's not too dry and they seem to clean it up every single day so they're on one kilo a day and as I go down them now they're all looking really fit and they're coming on well. They're in a lot better condition than last week. So really happy with how they're looking. Right guys, so I am just re-recording the ending of the video because as you probably could tell there, I lost the audio halfway through the last clip. So I just wanted to say a massive thank you for watching today guys. If there is any uh, more stuff you can tell me about rations and how I can improve, I'd really appreciate that or what you do at home. But the lambs are coming on really well. They've already put a lot of condition on since we started them on that ration that have been on it nearly a week. What we're gonna do next is weigh them all. So we'll see at the weekend how they are getting on and I'll give you an update to how they are getting on. Also on the farm, the tups have been in for four days now. So, sorry, five days now, which I just need to go and check them again now. But first four days, 54 ewes have been tupped, so that is incredible. Really happy with how they are going on. It's really positive, it means the T's have done their job. So that is like 13 a day, and they should be going at about nine a day on average. So 16 on top of where they should be at. So really happy there, guys. But yeah, I hope you found it interesting what we're trying to do with the fat lambs to get them finished. It is a bit of a short video, but I thought it'd be really interesting to see something different that we're trialing out. But yeah, guys, massive thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it today, guys, please give the video a massive like. If you want to see more stuff like this, just smash that subscribe button. And don't forget, videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven in the morning. Cheers, guys. See you all next time.